Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. Desperately waiting to be where you are across the hot desert. I travel the over for your glory. I will do anything just to see you. To behold you as my King, Lord, if I find favor in Your sight, Lord, please hear my heart cry. See, I'm desperately waiting to be where You. Cross the hottest desert, traveling over for your glory. I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king for your glory. I will do. Just to see you, to behold you as my King for your glory. I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my King. Wanna be where? Welcome to our session of prayer and devotion this morning. It is great to have each and every one of you join us today. And um, I want us to begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this uh, opportunity that you have given us to meet again. Oh Lord, to pray together again, to read your word again. I pray that your word will edify us. I pray that by your spirit we'll be encouraged in your word and even as we pray together. I thank you and I bless your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much again for joining us. And uh, today, this whole week, and uh, even last week, we were looking at the work of a believer. The work of a believer. And uh, we're looking at uh, the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. And these particular scriptures are talking about wives submit. Wives submit to your husbands. And we are going to read, that is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. So let us read. I'm reading from ESV. Um, wives submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives submit in everything to their husband. Let me read 24 again. Now, as the church submits to, to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husband husbands. And I love how verse 22 starts us off. Verse 22 starts by saying, wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. That word, your own husbands, your, your own husbands as to the Lord, your own is an emphasis that your own husband, the one that God has set aside for you, that we should not go around as wives submitting to other husbands. We have one husband that God has granted us and blessed us with, then we should submit to our own husbands. I believe that that own word was very uh, specific, that we should be faithful to one husband, even as Christ is faithful to one church that is the body of Christ. And verse 23 goes ahead to say, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Wives, we need to realize that the husband is the head of 
he is the head of the home and we need to submit in our marriage we need to realize that the husband is the the head we need to realize that um even though we might have our opinions that may be differing because when a husband and a wife come together they come from different backgrounds with different ideologies different ideas different ways of doing things different personalities they were not created the same way but the word of god says still says that the husband is the head though we might have many ideas many opinions many suggestions they remain as that at the end of the day we leave it to our husbands to make the final decisions you know there should not arise in the household a competition between my way and my husband's way that he makes a decision i make another decision that is contrary to the decision that he has made then we will not be walking in the word of god as it is instructing us this morning that we should know that the husband is the head and this also calls for a lot of trust to know that my husband is leading me in the right way and praying for our husbands every day that they will be submitted to Christ even as we are submitted to them that they will their hearts will be submitted to the way of the Lord the word of God we pray that God will keep them on the right way so that they can lead us to the to paths of righteousness so that it makes it easy for us to submit to them so we must always remember that the husband is the head he is the leader of the home and they continues to say his body and is himself its savior 24 says now as the church submits to Christ so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands now this verse really strikes me i remember i was in a conference somewhere and uh, they were reminding us of this very verse it was a couples conference and they were reminding us now as the church submits to Christ so also wives should submit in everything to their husband you know we took time to um digest this verse in a deeper way we were asked uh, all the ladies all the wives who are in the in the in the auditorium just think about the way you submit to Christ how you love Jesus how when Jesus um um you know instructs us in his word when Jesus says that this is the way that you should go how are how our hearts as christians as wives you know as christians as children of god we how we love to submit to the way of the lord how we are so passionate and devoted to christ and how we love to say that yes lord my heart is yours yes lord i will do as you command you are my master and i am your i am your servant yes jesus i am willing to submit to you aha wives you're being told here in verse 24 as the church submits to Christ so also wives should submit in everything to their husband in a similar way in a similar devotion in a similar with a similar passion that we submit to the lord is the same way that we need to also to submit to our husbands that is when we think about it a little bit more it is quite a tall order it's never easy when we think about that so that is why we need to pray that god will give us strength as wives to submit to our husbands the way we submit the way the church submits to christ think about the way you're so devoted to jesus the same way you need to be devoted to your husband submissive to your husband obedient to your husband that is the same way according to the word of god which says as the church submits to christ so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands So it is a call for us to pray that God will strengthen us as wives to submit. It is a heart issue that God will reveal anything in our hearts that is a hindrance that is causing us not to submit to our husbands. Perhaps it could be an issue on the husband's end that we need to go on our knees and pray that God help me, help my husband. align him to your word and to your will and to your purpose so that it will make it easy for me to submit to him so let us pray heavenly father i thank you so much for your word your word that is full of wisdom your word that is full of instruction your word that is full of guidance and lord we trust that your word leads us to paths of righteousness your word leads us to paths of safety your word leads us to paths of uh, of rest 
Your word leads us to eternity. Your word leads us to the road that is straight and narrow, the narrow path which leads to life. That is what your word uh, does for us. And I thank you, O oh God, that Lord, this morning we are choosing to stand on your word, even as wives, for all the wives that have joined in to the devotion this morning, and even the wives to be, those who are longing to be wives, those who want to learn and um, prepare themselves uh, for, for a season of marriage. Lord, I pray for each and every wife, oh God, even those who have um, are separated from their husbands, but are still looking forward to be in a relationship again. Father, Lord, I pray for every wife, oh God. This morning, your word is so clear, your word is so direct, your word is so open, oh God, that we need to submit to our own husbands. That means that the husband that God has set apart for us, we need to be submitted to one husband. Lord, I pray that you may help us, oh God, not to live lives of sin, not to live lives of fornication, not to live lives of um, having affairs outside our marriage. Forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us when our hearts have gone astray, when we have submitted to another man, when we have looked uh, lustfully or um, wrongfully at another man or another husband that belongs to another wife. Lord, forgive us. Have mercy on us. And even for, for us, O oh Lord, Father God, help us that we'll instruct other wives that we know in our neighborhood, in our families, O oh God, that we'll share your word. You are telling us to submit to our own husband, to one husband that the Lord has given us. Give us the strength. Give us the strength to value our husbands. Give us the strength to love our husbands every day as though we are loving them afresh. And God, you're also instructing us, O oh God, that the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. Yes, Lord, I pray, God, that you may help us to always see our husbands as the leader and to remember that they are the ones leading in our homes, leading in our relationships. And Father God, help us not to compete in a negative way, not to compete to have our opinions heard, to have the way at the end of the day. Father God, I pray, help us to submit to them. Help us to know that they are our leaders Help us to pray for them, O oh God. We pray for our husbands, O oh God, that indeed they will follow Christ, that their hearts will be submitted to Christ, that they will can say confidently, follow me as I follow Christ. Lord, we pray for the grace to always pray for them, to always believe in them, to always hope that indeed you are guiding them, O oh God. Help us to submit to them. Help us to submit to our husband's leadership. I know sometimes it is never easy, oh God. All of us have different personalities. All of us, oh God, in a couple... Uh in a couple setting, as husband and wife, we come from different walks of life. But God, I pray that you, as we become one in you, O oh God, help us to realize that this is what your word says and this is how you instruct us, that our husbands are the head of the home. They are the head of the relationship. Help us to submit to them and to always look at them as the leaders, always to uh, encourage them to suggest to to help to be helpers oh god but not to be in a competitive um, position with them father god i'm also praying even as your word says now as the church submits to christ so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands father lord as we think through the details of this verse as wives uh, we should submit to our husbands the same way we submit to you, Jesus. Father, Lord, remembering how devoted we are to you, Jesus, remembering how obedient we are to you, remembering how we call you master, how we call you um, king of kings and lord of lords, how we submit to you, how we are so tender towards the Lord, how we are so... Um, devoted and passionate about the things of God and about Christ, that you are commanding us, you are reminding us as wives to submit in the same way as the church submits to Christ. Help us, O oh God, that we'll submit to our husbands. It help us, O oh God, in our hearts to submit from our hearts, not only to submit um, 
superficially but to submit from our hearts because it is a heart issue it is a matter of us being humble in our hearts to submit to Christ being humble in our hearts to submit to our husbands lord grant us humility grant us strength to submit grant us strength to be there and um to be humble towards our husbands to respond in a humble way to re- uh, to 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 act in a humble way even as we are are submitting to our husbands even as you are instructing us oh god lord help us oh god give us the strength it's not easy all the time and i pray for those wives in situations where their husbands are not submitted to christ this could be a very tough situation but lord i pray for them and i pray for their husbands that their hearts will submit once again to the lord that they will give their their lives to the lord they will surrender their lives to the lord oh god and for those wives in this particular scenario oh god that they will uh find their courage and their confidence in you oh god as the god who is able to turn around their situation you know some wives are struggling with alcoholic husbands some wives are struggling with abusive husbands lord i pray for those wives in those situations that you may grant them patience and the strength to keep praying for their husbands the strength to keep holding on and being patient for that moment of breakthrough oh god where their husbands will re- will rededicate their lives to christ i thank you oh god and i bless your name I thank you for instructing us in your word and I pray for strength to submit to your word of oh God in Jesus mighty name I pray believing and trusting amen so thank you so much for joining us and I pray that you will be encouraged as a wife to continue to submitting to your husband as the church submits to Christ amen Lord if I find favor in yours Lord be hear my heart cry see I'm desperately waiting to be where you are across the hot test desert traveling over for your glory I will do anything just to see you to be hold you as my king for your glory i will do anything just to see you to be hold you as my king for your glory do anything just to see you to be hold you as my king wanna be where you are gotta be where you are wanna be where you are gotta be where you are Wanna be where you are Got to be where you are oh.
wanna be where 